What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an unboxing and as you can see from the box and the title, it is a public goods unboxing. So before I get into the unboxing, I might as well give you a little backstory on what Public Goods is for those of you that don't know. But Public Goods is an online store that supplies you with personal care, household items, groceries, really a wide variety of things. But what makes them different from other companies is that all of their products are sustainable, they're cruelty free, they have a ton of vegan and gluten free options for those of you that are vegan. And a lot of their products are also biodegradable and compostable, which I will get into later. But those are just a few of the things that kind of set them out from everybody else and why I was excited to do this unboxing. So to access public goods, you do actually need a membership. The membership is $59 a year, which comes out to $5 a month, which in my opinion isn't too bad of a deal, honestly. The membership fees basically just go to them being able to create and supply you with these items at a lower cost, and that way at least you know, because it's things that you would already buy already, but you know that you are helping the world and also giving back. And by giving back, I actually mean they work with a ton of charities, which I will leave a list of that down in the description. But just for an example, they work with the Eden Reforestation Project, I believe is the name of it. And for every new member, they give Eden Reforestation Project money to plant a tree. So that's a super cool little addition, just something to think about when you sign up. And then they also work with St. Mary's Food Bank, Clean the World, and Feed America. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that they do also have a free two-week trial just so you can like dip your toes in the water, see how you like it before actually committing to the year. And if you're still skeptical, they did give me a 15% off code that I will leave also down below so you can also use that towards your first purchase. Don't worry though, I am actually going to be putting them all to the test just to see if they actually are of high standard as they claim to be and I hopefully think so, but... I will give you my real opinion and we'll see if I actually like or hate them. Okay, let's get into the actual unboxing part. So Public Goods basically let me pick seven items off of their website and so it got to be personalized to myself which is actually super nice and thank you again Public Goods for sending me these. But let's see what I got. First up, I got this body wash. It smells pretty good. It smells like it smells like something that I've smelled before, but I don't, I don't know what it is. It smells kind of citrusy though. And to go with the body wash, I got this sea sponge. I've never had one of these, but I've always wanted one. So we will see how it feels. Next, I got this crystal deodorant spray, which I'm very skeptical about this one. Um, if you've seen any of my videos, you know your girl is sweaty, so we will see if this can be put to the test of uh, combating all of that. Next up, I got these mesh bags. It does come with two, I just have one right here, but these are mesh produce bags. And I really like that they have a drawstring so I don't have to tie a knot and then have to rip the bag open like I usually do with the plastic bags. Pretty straightforward. Next up, I got this red lentil pasta that I'm really excited to try out. I love red lentils, great source of protein. We will see how this tastes. To go with the pasta, I got this pesto sauce. I tried to get things that go together because I wanted to try them out and have it make the most sense. Although I am having this with the pasta, I'm also going to put this with eggs because if you've seen the TikTok hack, it's uh, pesto eggs and that's literally what it is. You cook eggs with pesto instead of oil and 
so good. It's really good. That looked wrong. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. And last but definitely not least, the thing I was the most excited for was hot sauce. This is their garlic habanero hot sauce and I have high hopes for this. Both my boyfriend and I love hot sauce, so hopefully this stands up to our standards. So that is all the things that I got. So why don't we just get right on into the try-on. Try-on? This isn't a try-on haul. All right, so that is everything that I picked out. Now, why don't we test them all out? Hello, we are here with the trial process. I just got back from the gym, and before I was at the gym, I thought I would try out that crystal deodorant. So I sprayed that on, and here we are after a sweaty gym session, and I feel like I don't smell as bad as I normally would, but I want this one to smell me and confirm, really, okay. This is what lovers are for. Oh. Stop it. Stop. Liar. It smells fine. It smells fine? He said it smells, it smells fine. fine. I can still smell the little video, but it's not anything like. Okay. Like so far, I feel like it's kind of working. And then I am going to take a shower and use the uh, body wash and the sea foam thing. And I do want to retry the deodorant because it does say to use it after shower, so I want to get the best use out of it. So we will try it then, and uh, yeah, I will update you. Okay, so we are post shower now. I did get to use the body wash and the sea foam sponge and uh, I gotta say not too bad. I figured out what I thought the smell was of the body wash and I don't think that this is like an accurate smell but to me it kind of smells like ginger beer a little bit. We drink a lot of ginger beer and it kind of smells like one of the flavors of that which I personally like so I enjoyed that. Um, I did like the sea sponge as well, however I will say it was a little bit small. I wish it was bigger. It felt nice and soft like on the body, but it was just a little bit small for me. Um, other than that, no complaints really. I mean, I'll use it. Hey, are you ready? Taste test? Oh! <laughs> What do you rate it? 7 out of 10. I'd say the same. 7 out of 10. It's kind of hot. <laughs> but not that hot because I ain't a All right, so as you can see, I made the pasta. Um, I definitely overcooked it a little bit, which was my bad, but we will see how it tastes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chefs first. No, go ahead. Okay. I think it's good. Yeah, give it a rating. Seven out of 10. <laughs> Same as the hot sauce. Mm. I do love that. It feels like I'm eating pasta and it's literally lentils. Oh, it's made of lentils? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's literally red lentil flour. That's the only ingredient. Oh, I'm impressed then. Mm hmm. Okay, do you Seven and a half out of ten. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So quick little update on the deodorant situation. I wore it throughout the day yesterday and I've basically come to find that it helps combat like the odor part pretty well, but not so much the general like 
wetness. <laughs> so I'll probably just use that as a backup. Maybe a travel deodorant, I'm not sure. It's definitely not gonna be my go-to, but. Other than that, that is everything that I got. I'm pretty satisfied with everything. I do have a couple things on my list that I wanna try out from their website and maybe I'll do another video and let you know. But that is gonna be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out all the links and the codes in the description. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.